Hi everyone, welcome to Eckhart Yoga. My name is Esther. This is the last YouTube class for the September yoga month and um, it's going to be a longer class for you. So this class you can use as your time for yoga event class, which takes place the 30th of September on a Sunday at seven o'clock your local time. Um, everybody practices together. Now you can either take this class as a shorter version or if you like to, to do the 90 minute class, click on the link below and it will direct you to my website and you can find a free 90 minute class there. Okay, so we're going to start cross-legged. Make sure you sit in a comfortable position. Um, probably sit up on a blanket or block to raise the hips. To help you sit up even better is just pressing into your hands, lifting your seat, taking your sit bones back and then bringing it back down. Make sure your spine is nice and straight and you place your hands wherever you like them on your legs, palms up, palms down or together in your lap, doesn't matter. And close your eyes when you're comfortable. And ground the sit bones and from there lift up through the spine, bring the shoulders on the back and release your jaw lengthening through the crown of the head. And be aware of how you feel for a moment. The final week is about heart opening postures. And what does it mean to open our heart? You know, our physical heart is impossible to open, but it's more our energetic heart center of our chest, the heart chakra, you could call it. Anahata is the Sanskrit name. So ask yourself that question. How would I feel if that energetic heart would open to receive and to give and to connect with yourself and others? How would it feel if there would be no fear around that anymore? That, that would just dissolve. And why wouldn't that? For now, for this class, for this time. And what does it mean to connect with others and with ourselves? What do we all have in common? And I think what we all have in common is that we want to feel safe and that we want to feel loved and love. And that we all want to be happy. And can we meet there? knowing that that goes for every one of us, although it comes out in a different way, personally, for everybody. It's still, deep down, something we all have in common. It moves us. So, open yourself up to that knowledge, that knowing, and be prepared to be vulnerable and open to meet each other and ourselves there. So as an intention, let's take keeping the heart open as much as possible throughout the practice. 
when the practice is easy, but also when the practice is hard. You can stay open through it all. It's just an experience. Bring the palms together. Inhale to the heart. Exhale. Bow the head to the heart. Releasing the hands, gently opening your eyes and lifting your gaze. And let the roll in. Okay, we're going to now change the cross of our legs and cross the shin bones, the middle of the shin bones, so the feet are flexed and end up underneath the knees. Hands on the knees. On the in-breath, move your heart between your shoulders forward. And on the out-breath, draw the belly in and bring the shoulders forward. Inhale. Move the heart between the shoulders forward. Open up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, extending the front of the body. Exhale, extending and stretching the back of the body. And come back to neutral now. Then we're going to sit with our legs extended out in front of us. You can still sit up on a block or blanket in Dandasana. So flex the feet, bring the knees down and place your hands next to the hips. Ground your hands into the floor to help lift your spine and your chest. Draw your shoulders back and bring the breath up so that you breathe in such a way that you feel your heart. Not just the front, but also the sides and the back. It's that whole space in the upper back. Forward, backward, left and right. One more breath. Feel the energy up in the heart space. And then place your hands further back with your fingers pointing towards your feet. And on the in-breath, press into your hands again. Take your tailbone a little down and draw the front of the belly in and up. And then take your heart up once more. Draw your shoulder blades back and feel them supporting the upper back. But you also want the shoulder blades to give the upper back some space. And breathe up in that space. Keep your feet flexed. Ground the upper thighs. And take a deeper breath to feel this. And then come down on the forearms and draw both knees into your chest. Just do a little bit of core work. Extend one leg out. Inhale, knee back. Exhale, the other leg out. Inhale, knee back. Keep going. One leg at a time, extending. On the out breath, you extend. On the in breath, you pull the knee back in. Don't let your head... Lean back, keep looking straight ahead. And if this is too easy for you, go both feet. That makes it a bit more intense. Not too close to the floor, about 45 degree angle. And we're just waking up the abdominals here. Whilst we keep our heart open. Even when it gets tough. See, can you just be with it? One more. Okay. And then from here you can roll back up and come on hands and knees. From here, tuck your toes under and pull back into down dog. Press your hands down, press your feet down. And move your attention to the back of your heart, the upper back. Feel the shoulder blades again, draw them on the upper back and then... Soften that space between the shoulder blades. So you're melting your heart, you could say. Make it soft, make it open. And breathe. Draw energy from the floor up into your heart. And from the feet. And then from the heart, extend through the hands. And through the feet, from the hips. Okay. Then look ahead of you and step both feet forward. Inhale, press your fingertips into the floor. Your knees can be bent and find space in the whole upper body. Send your shoulders back. And then on an out breath, 
fold. Place your hands in your side, press down from the hips into the feet and come up, inhale. And on an out breath, release the arms next to the body. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale here, lift your arms up. Look up, feel the feet ground to the four corners. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Also expand the back of the heart again. And on the out breath, step back. In to a down dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward and drop the back knee. Exhale, inhale, lift your arms up. And sink a little deeper down. Inhale, draw the feet together, pull the pelvic floor up a bit. And from there, open your heart again. Looking up, but keep it pleasant. And then place the hands down and step it back, down dog. Inhale, step left forward. Exhale, drop the knee. And inhale, lift your arms again. Exhale, sink down. And again, once more, draw the legs in towards each other. Pull the pelvic floor up. And from there, find that length to lift your heart. Keep it soft, keep it open, breathe in. And on the out breath, hands down. And step it back. Take a vinyasa. On an in breath, come into plank. On an out breath, knees, chest, chin, or straight as a stick. Inhale, take a cobra, lie flat, lift your chest, your shoulders back, look straight ahead. And on the next, out breath, down dog. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, look ahead of you. You can either step forward or take a little jump. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, drawing in. And on an in breath, come back up, press down through the feet, knees can be bent. And on the out breath, arms down in front of the heart. Take a side bend. So bring the arms up again. Take your right wrist with your left hand. And on an in breath, lift the whole body over to the left. Open the right side. So we want to open our side body as well. Inhale. Exhale, come back to neutral. And other side, take your left wrist with your right hand. And open it up to the right as you open the left side. Inhale here. Feel the feet ground them. Exhale, come back to neutral. Inhale here. Lift your arms. Exhale, bend your knees deep. Touch the floor with the fingertips. And on an in-breath, lift your arms up in front of you. Katasana. Keep your heart open. Exhale, come down, forward fold. Inhale, reach your heart forward. And on the out breath, step back into plank and come down, chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, scoop through, take an up dog or a cobra again. And on the out breath, downward facing dog pose. Inhale, step your right foot forward, keep the back heel off the floor and take crescent pose. Lift your arms, bend your elbows, drop your hands behind your head. And again, feel the feet, so ground, pull the pelvic floor up, draw your front hips up. And from there, from that strength, find the connection with your center of your chest. Lift your heart and take a breath. And feel it free there, so don't tense it, open it. And place your hands back down, step back, down dog. Other side, inhale, step your left foot forward. Exhale, find your feet. From there, come up. Take your arms up. And drop your hands behind you, palms together. Again, find the feet. Draw the pelvic floor up. Lift the front hip bones. And from that connection, lift your heart. Find the softness there. Inhale, draw your shoulders back. Open the chest. Look up if that feels stable. And on the out breath, hands down and step back, down dog. Vinyasa on an in breath, take a plank. On an out breath, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, scoop through, up dog or cobra. Find the softness in the heart. Inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Take a breath here.
On the in-breath, lift your right leg up and step it forward between the hands. Drop the back heel and come up for warrior two. Inhale, lift your left arm up first. Right arm follows. Exhale, soften into the front leg. Keep your knee over the ankle and take it out so you can see your big toe when you look down. Now we want to focus on opening the heart to all sides. So also keep the back broad. Open it there. Inhale, feel that area. Extend actively through the arms. Exhale. Inhale again. Look over the right arm. On the out breath now, forearm to tie, hand on the outside of the foot. Take your left arm up and over. Side angle pose. Inhale here. Press into your feet. Lengthen through the whole left side of the body. Open the heart up and breathe. In the front, in the back and in the sides. Exhaling. Hand back down. And step back. Down dog. Other side. Inhale, lift left. Exhale, step it forward. Drop the back heel. Inhale, ground from the hips down. Lift your right arm up first. Left follows, warrior two. Exhale, sink into it. Keep the knee over the ankle. And see your big toe. Inhale, just make space around the whole heart area. Exhale, also the back. Inhale. Exhale, forearm to thigh or hand next to the foot to the floor. Take your... Right arm up and over. Inhale here, ground your feet and lengthen and take your heart up. Exhale and keep softness in that area. And on the out breath, hands back down and step it back. Vinyasa. So if vinyasa is too much, stay in down dog and work on your upper body strength or take child pose. On an in breath, rock into plank. On an out breath, chaturanga. Inhale, scoop through. And on an out breath, down dog. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, look ahead of your hands. And as you jump, press your hands down actively or step forward. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, draw in. And inhale. Take it up. You can have your knees bent from the hips, press down through the feet, lift the arms. Exhale, hands down in front of the heart. Take a breath here. And release the hands. Then step your left foot back. And set yourself up for triangle and half moon pose. So if you need a block, then this is the time to get one. Take your right foot out all the way. Push your left heel back a little. Bend your knee a little, lift your heel, take the knee out, place the heel back down, from there straighten the leg. Lift your arms, inhale, find softness. Exhale, extend over the right leg, right arm down, left arm up, triangle pose, hand on the leg somewhere, maybe on a block or on the floor. Find length in the bottom side of the body, the right side. Strong legs, inhale here. Exhale, bring your left hand behind you, the back of the hand on the back, or perhaps reaching for your right inner thigh, the bind. So wherever you end up is good. Inhale, now begin to breathe into the back body. One more breath. And then on the out breath, keep your hand in place, bend your knee, your front knee, and step your left foot in a little. Yeah. Then take your hand onto the block or on the outside of the mat, the right side, in front of you, about a foot. And then on the next in-breath, half moon pose, press into your right leg. Begin to straighten it as you lift your left leg. Breathe into your back body. Lift your inner thigh. And ground through the right leg. Tailbone reaches back, breastbone reaches forward. Lift your left shoulder. Look up if it feels good. Take a breath here. Inhale. And then on the out breath, bend your knee again. Step it back. Can you land softly back into triangle pose? Release your left arm. And from here we come up, pressing into your back foot, especially the big toe. Find both feet though, 
And on an in-breath, lift from the left arm back up to standing. And we do it the other side. So turn your left foot out, right foot pushes back. Take your block with me if you're using one. Bend your front knee, take the knee out as you lift your heel and then press the heel down and extend your leg. Inhale, softness. Opening the heart, exhaling, extending, left arm down, right arm up. And triangle pose, inhale. Lengthen the bottom side of the body, so lengthen the left side. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your elbow, your right elbow, hand behind your back, back of the hand on the back. Perhaps binding, holding on to your left thigh. Breathe into the back body now. Inhale, feel the chest. Feel the back expanding against the arm. One more breath. Exhale, look down, bend your front knee. Step your right foot in a little. And then place your left hand on the outside of your mat, a foot in front of your foot. And on an in-breath, press into your left leg. Extend and lift your right leg and begin to extend the left leg as well. Keep looking down for stability. Ground through the four corners of the feet. Draw the front ribs in. Tailbone reaches back. Breastbone reaches forward. Foot pointing to the right. Once you're comfortable, take your gaze up. Keep your right shoulder back. Breathe. One more breath. Exhale, look down, bend your knee and step back. Can you land lightly and go back to triangle, extend your right arm and from there press down through the feet, ground the back big toe, the right big toe and from there lift up. Feet parallel, take a little jump, hands in front of the heart and take a moment to feel the body. Okay, from here it's just lovely to take a handstand with a heart opening practice to activate the arms and to really feel that softness in the back of the heart. So go to a wall. Okay, for handstands, if you've been practicing with me, you know the way you can do handstands with your feet against the wall. I'll just show it to you once. Sit down, remember where your heels are. Place your hands there, shoulder width. Take a small down dog. If you're stiff in your upper back, you might want to walk your hands slightly bit forward, but not too much. And then from here, draw the shoulders on the back, soften the upper back, and then step one foot hip height, and step the other foot hip height. If you want to do handstand against a wall in a regular way, and you know how to do it, go ahead. So this is half handstand against the wall. It's quite heavy on the arms and the upper back, but you've got support, and you won't fall over. So that's one way of practicing it. The other way is where you're going to face the wall. Place your hands down a little bit away from the wall so you have space for your head to look down and you don't bang into the wall. Shoulder width apart. Take a down dog. And really press the hands down. And imagine drawing energy up from the earth into your heart. What does that mean? It means your shoulders move on to the back. So you feel your shoulders really sliding on the back. And again, against that, melt the upper back. Make it soft. Then look between your hands. Step one foot in underneath your navel. And then lift your other leg up. Keep that leg that you lift really straight. Flex the foot. And that leg doesn't move. It keeps straight, no matter how high or low it is. Bend, come onto the toe of your left foot, bend it, and then you're going to kick up, keeping your right leg completely steady and keep your heart melted. There you go. And find balance and stay there for as many breaths as you can stay. And then once you're done, you come down and you walk your feet into your hands 
And you just relax there for a moment. Let your head hang in a forward bend. Maybe step on your hands for a moment on the palms of the hands to stretch out the wrists. Okay. Hands in your hips. Take your shoulders away from the floor. Inhale, a root down from the hips into the feet and lift. And make your way back to your mat. So a short handstand even puts your world upside down. It activates all the energy channels in the arms and it does give a nice opening in the chest. Take a child pose for just a moment. And in child pose, completely let go. Really release your head. Imagine it resting on a soft pillow. Relax your face, your muscles. And take a deep breath. On the next in-breath, come back up. And come back to down dog. Inhale here. Exhale, come forward a little. Look between your hands. Move your right hand over to the left a little, so it's in the middle. And then turn onto your right foot. Come into plank pose. There's two ways. I'll show you the difficult version. Press into your feet. Take your shoulder down and move it into the socket. So you really have a strong foundation in your arm. Take your left arm up here. This is side plank. If this is beyond your strength, and then you shouldn't do it if you're quite in the beginning stages of your practice, place your right knee to the floor. Take your foot out behind you and take side plank this way. Yeah, so you've got the support of the knee. And this is fine. This is perfect. So choose your way. And there, if you're in full side plank, step your left foot behind you and then press your both feet down, draw energy from the feet up into the hips. And then from the hips, place your left hand on your heart, really open the heart. Take a deep breath, lift the right side of the heart to the ceiling. Breathe, find softness, shoulder blades away from the back, inhale. And on the out breath, come back. And you can do the same opening with your back knee on the floor, bottom knee. Okay, so we do the same on the left side. So remember, you can place your left knee down and take your foot behind you and come in side plank that way. So rock forward a little, left hand moves over to the right, turn onto your left foot. From core stability, draw the shoulder into the back, open it up. Take a breath here. If you fall out, that's fine. You just move back in. Inhale. Exhale, place your right foot behind you. And press into both feet, extending and pulling energy up into the pelvis. And then opening your heart, lift it up. Place your hand on your heart. Breathe, find that space. And really give it your all. And place your right hand back down and come back, down dog. So that should have really given you an opening, no matter where you were. And once more, child pose. Turn the palms up. And then come to sit straight for a moment, hips on the heels. Hands on your legs, keep your chest open, draw your chin in a little and just feel the body. And can you still open this space? And can you let the thoughts be? No matter what thought passes, can you still stay open? Okay, and then we come lie on the back. (laughs) 
one more hard opening posture and we do fish pose. So press your shoulders into the floor, take your groins down, flex your feet and lift your lower back away from the floor and from there pressing into your elbows, lifting your chest and very gently placing the top of the head on the floor, hardly any weight in it. The weight is in the elbows. Flex your feet. And again, take a few breaths into your heart and enjoy that feeling. One more breath. Then tuck your tailbone under and from there lift your head and place it back down. And take a moment to feel the body. So you should really feel some sensations in that whole area here and it should feel great. Take your right knee into your chest and hold behind your leg. Inhale, extend your right leg up and then push your leg away into your hand. Ground your left leg, both feet flexed. Inhale here. Exhale. One more breath. And letting go. Other side. Left knee in. Hold behind your thigh. Inhale, extend. And push against the hands. Ground both legs, as in extending through the heels. Inhale. Exhale, gently letting go. And we take Shavasana. So stay in the final relaxation pose, just the way you are. If you feel you can't relax in this pose as it is, then do place a pillow underneath your head or knees and cover up with a blanket if you get cold. So you stay here. I'm just going to sit up to talk you through. So just let go and be aware of that area in your chest. Observe any sensations that you might feel. And you don't have to feel anything. You might feel nothing and that's good too. But just being the space acceptant to whatever is there. Allowing it with love. Allowing it with an open heart. Accept everything. Real love is only possible when we connect, accept everything in ex existence. Not just ourselves. Not just our ways of thinking or our beliefs, but everything. All the people, all other living things in the world and what we consider dead things. Once we consider everything to be part of each other and everything to be one, made out of the same substance, then you can enter a state of real love. And then the heart chakra, the energy can open and we can connect really with each other. Beyond the mind, beyond beliefs, in another field. So, enjoy this relaxation for as long as you wish. Thank you for joining me in this practice. Namaste. Thank you.